Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of June, end of June, going into July. You could be experiencing these, uh, some of these energies currently. Um, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Um, your messages could be there. If not, check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So let's begin at the heart of this reading. We have the Consolamentum. It is the world card. So something could be culminating. Somebody could be looking back at a journey. Um, it is being clarified by uh, the same card, the world, and the Knight of, Sh uh, of, uh, of Wands. So, I feel like something is culminating in, in this relationship, that there is distance between you. I feel like this person, the person you're with, uh, um, it's like uh, they don't want to be tied, or, tied down. This could be somebody who likes to travel or likes to move. This could be somebody at a distance, but I feel more like uh, this is somebody who maybe they no longer wish to be tied down. The convenenza in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Know that what's happening here is happening in your favor, even though it, it's not going to feel like it. It's because you can't see beyond it. But beyond it, if the wheel is pushing this, it's because it's going to, you know, it's going to land you someplace better. It, it could be that you're stuck in a situation that is um, not working for you. You do not have the strength, perhaps, or maybe you're, yeah. You see, this is about giving another opportunity to this relationship, most likely. And maybe you feel you don't have the strength to do that. Maybe you don't really want to, or maybe they don't really want to. Maybe they wish to be free to go. Maybe this is, this is somebody who's very adventurous. Um, but also, I would tie that into this night. We have two nights here, you know, and they they don't want to. Um, I'm, I'm just looking real quick. I, I don't have uh, the king. So this is um, this is somebody I feel who uh, who doesn't or is having a hard time being tied to one place. Uh, that Prince of Swords here. Um, hmm. He can be uh, uh, very analytical. He can be very clever. Um, with him, there can be, actually with both of these knights, there's a tendency to be very reckless. Uh to this person would uh, would say things without thinking, do things without thinking. Um, their words can be very sharp, very cutting. Um, they can be very judgmental and uh, self focused. They can appear to be very cold or can become, they can distance themselves even if you're in the same place. They Emotionally, they've distanced themselves, you know, and they may do this to you often. Um, and they can just disappear if they're bored, if they get bored. I feel you have a family with this person. It's been shown uh, here. The original plan was to have something long-term, um, possibly. Uh, you have children. 
um, so it's almost like it's like a going back to the world card now knowing what I've just told you the um, it's a possibility that this is like a turning point where one thing must end so another can begin like some couples at this point decide to tie the knot while others may decide that their partnership has reached the end of the road it, it represents big huge life-changing decisions that move us closer to our true purpose um, to our true soulmate even you know completion can can be uh, it can also be about bittersweet emotions that could come to the surface as you reflect on your journey you know how you know the journey up to this moment these card this card um, I'm these cards actually because we have two uh, are asking you to honor these feelings but then put your eyes on the future don't live or don't linger don't stay in the past then I feel for you there are some bittersweet memories here I feel that someone in this relationship and I feel as this person this night I feel like the interest has waned or um, that that they've lost interest that the spark has died that the passion for it or for the idea of it has died out this is somebody who will uh, do anything really to get what they want so the question uh, I mean this could be with this knave of wands and um, uh, ace of wisdom in reverse you see passions walking away from this relationship this is why it ended the interest for somebody has gone you see the lady in the background here she's leaving this is the passion this is the flame that was that originally brought you together it's leaving and so that is why the ace of sh uh, of wisdom here is in the reverse but you know this card is actually uh, one of the luckiest cards in this particular deck and even reversed it brings you luck but you cannot see it and it's like I said with the wheel it's happening this is happening for a reason um, and it will prove beneficial to you in the future it's just you cannot see it yet it will bring you or yeah it will bring you somewhere better but it seems like you um, you could be thinking of staying because of family or at least this this is this is your choice you know to move on to have a new beginning uh, to put an end to this cycle or uh, or to stay here and try to make something grow here in this relationship and if you stay it's like staying for family because clearly uh, with this four of, of chalices here you're not happy with your situation okay you're not happy here this offer did not bring you uh, the result you had desired or wanted um, in the beginning you know it just it's something that's not working out but you have a family and so you're thinking of staying possibly in this for the family and what would the cost be so here we have uh, next to this Prince of Swords we have the Six of Wands in reverse Five of Cups so Six of Wands reverse we're talking about um, 
uh, failure, disappointment. Um, this uh, is talking about narcissism here. A lot of insecurities. You're dealing with someone self-centered. So this makes sense sitting next to this knight. Um, this person mm, or this situation actually may have gotten the best of you or it's taking its toll on you. Yeah. Five of Cups. And so the Five of Cups, um, you are most likely in, uh, yeah, with regards to this connection, see? Yeah, and I uh, see we have Death in Reverse. So you're resisting this ending uh, in this union. Um, the Five of Cups, uh, again, I mean, it could be saying, because you're very focused on, 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 um, on all of the disappointments, uh, um, focused on the rejection, if this person has lost interest in you or has fallen out of love with you. Now, even if you're together, this person has created distance between you so it, it 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 is in effect a rejection even if you're still together so uh and you know the five of cups can also be saying the same thing as the world which is um again about this decision you know to uh, to either fix things or to uh, release it the choice here is to let go of past resentments and move forward together but you can't because the passion has died for someone here or end things for good and this is what's on the table somebody here has lost interest and this relationship is taking its toll on you so to try to save uh, to stay and save the relationship what will be the cost to you I feel um, you, it, it's like a, one person may still feel the connection, but the other one no longer does. Um, it could be that uh, you are missing or you feel you're missing information uh, that would allow you to walk away. Or maybe you're just telling yourself this because you don't really want to walk away. Because uh, this Ten of Swords says it's over, but there's still that spark of hope that, well, maybe it's not. Maybe this other person is misleading you. Because he, he would carry that off again, on again uh, type of energy. So this person confuses you and you don't know what to do. So you're kind of like hanging around. Hanging around. Um, you're carrying the weight of this relationship. How much more, uh, how much longer can you do this? You're struggling to get ahead, but it is taking its toll on you. You're struggling to keep the, the family unit together, but you're going to be paying a high price for that. So 
the wheel asks you if you wish to um, if you wish to continue or uh, do you want to close this cycle and start open a new one and you're reflecting on this and you ultimately do have the choice you can choose to go another cycle and stay in this energy or you can choose to close it off and end it there's going to be a conversation something is going to be said to you by this person that's going to really upset you and it could be what tips the scale but I think you already knew this or felt this coming something is going to happen something is going to be said that's going to if you were thinking of staying uh, let's say that was your plan if you were thinking of staying and keeping the family unit together uh, sacrificing your happiness to do this then there's something that is going to be said that is going to cause you uh, to change your mind that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.